Hello there guys and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you Windows Server 2012. Okay so Windows Server 2012 has been released and it's basically the server version of Windows 8 so if you don't like Windows 8 um, you might not like Windows Server 2012 either but I found it quite good so I thought I'd do a video on it. So this is part one of two uh, and in part one we're going to be showing you how to install Windows Server 2012. Please click the button below if you'd just rather skip to part two and we'll show you the overview. So I'll say this is part one so first thing we need to do is we need to boot off the CD. Uh, I already have the CD in the virtual drive and it will load the drive, load the files rather and you'll see a similar boot screen to that of Windows 8 so when that loads you'll then notice that we are presented with a similar looking install screen to Windows 8 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select United Kingdom English because uh, that's where I live so makes sense I suppose uh, then install now in the uh, server 2012 we have a sort of cut down version of the metro UI as well so as I say go to part 2 to look at that and we'll basically be presented with a screen that says set the operating system and this one we're going to be selecting the server 2012 data center with the GUI and I've got next and we want to accept the license terms and install so it doesn't take quite as long to install but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video uh, and then I'll be back in a minute okay so the installation is approaching uh, the end okay so we're 100% of getting the files ready and you'll notice it's now installing updates and now the machine will reboot okay so Windows needs to restart to continue, we start now and it will try and boot up for the first time, we don't want to boot up the CD or DVD should I say uh, okay and we've got the Windows 8 loading screen again so uh, yeah it will boot up like it would in Windows 8, well obviously it's, it's server so that's why it loads up like that because it's based around Windows 8 so yeah I'm now also uh, installing it on my main server at home that's got an Intel Xeon E3 1220 3 gig, 8 gigs of RAM and a RAID array which is complicated so I'm not going to go through so hopefully that should run alright and I might post on the description as well if it went ok ok so it's now getting devices ready 85% 100% there we go you see it's much quicker than Server 2008 R2 now I'll say getting ready uh, I think it reboots again ok so now it'll boot up obviously I'm running it in a virtual machine so it should be ok for Windows Server test system that I'm running it on is an Intel Core i7 950 and 12 gigs of RAM so I've set up the virtual machine so it'll have uh, 4 cores of the Intel i7 and it will also have 8 gigs of RAM and a 250 gig hard disk just for this uh, test so while it's booting up okay should see it now sometime I'm just going to run through one of the features with you uh, while I wait for it to install or to boot rather should I say uh, in server 2012 if you've got uh, more than one network adapter say what you can do is you, is you can team them together so that you can have uh, faster network speed 
Um, you can do that in any version of the Windows Server, but you can do it with different adapters in uh, Windows Server 2012. Rather in other w versions of Windows Server, you have to have the same network adapters, uh, and you have to use the manufacturer of the network adapter software. Anyway, now it's booted. Now it's uh, booted up. Yeah, um, we can type in the password for the built-in administrator account. Obviously it's not going to ask me to log in with my live ID because it's, it's a server so why would it? It's finalising my settings. And yeah, yeah, you can basically like uh, team them together so if you've got, uh, got a, gig a gigabit network and two network adapters on, on your server then what you can do is, is you can team them together so that you have a two gigabyte uh, network connection so obviously you can have a faster transfer speed over the network. So here it goes, uh, we're now at the logon screen so we'll need to click control alt and delete to sign in and here we go we'll log on as the administrator account and we'll see that it's pretty similar to windows 8 ok and it's down to setting up a personalised settings ok so when it's ready it'll boot up here we are in the windows server 2012 uh, operating system this is build 9200, the uh, RTM version, so this, this is the uh, genuine version and this is the new server manager starting up now. So once that does boot, obviously it's very hard drive intensive so it will take a few seconds unless you've got mad hard disks or SSDs or something like that. But uh, yeah, I have seen the server before with 48 SSDs which was a bit mad, but hey, uh, anyway. Here we are in the Windows Server Manager dashboard, and from here, this is the new sort of uh, UI that you got to use. Um, it will manage your local server. It's still booting, I think this is why it's a bit slow. Manage your local server, so you've got your computer name there, which you always have change, uh, operating system, you got obviously your, your processor. It's just showing that there's two installed because that's how I set it up. 8 gigs of RAM and a 250 gig hard disk. So you can manage all servers. What you can do is, is you can have multiple servers and sort of aggregate them together and uh, monitor them from the same server if you sort of see what I'm saying. Okay, so there we go. Click on manage, you can go to user roles and such like. But what I'm going to be doing is, uh, please watch part 2 if you want to see what I'm going to um, show you, which is what is so special about Windows Server 2012 and I'm going to be showing you some of the apps. So as you can see as well, Metro is a little bit simple. So thanks for watching, um, please comment if you like Windows 8, if you, uh, Windows Server 2012 rather, what you like about it, whether you would install it on your own server if you had one, if you do have one, whatever. Uh, and Thanks for watching, please subscribe to Ben's Tech Tips for more computer videos.